about this amazing gospel story. I want to go back to our first reading. The first reading where we hear God describing the people of Israel as his beloved, as his spouse. And, you know, for us that sort of is an unusual, you know, way of thinking about it because we see the world in individual terms as opposed to community terms. But in ancient Israel, they thought of themselves first as part of their tribe, first as part of their family. And so they would not have thought themselves to have a, so, so to speak, personal relationship with God. Instead, it was a communal relationship with God. Does that mean that God has changed the way God loves us? Of course not. But what it really means is that God meets us where we are, individually, communally, and culturally. So let's talk a little bit about our reading from the Gospel of John, which is one of my favorites, the, the wedding at Cana. The first thing to think about is how much faith did the mother of Jesus have? Remember, Jesus had not yet performed any miracles, and yet she asks her son to do it. And he says, of course, why are you bothering me with this? It's not my time yet. And I think we all can imagine what happened next, right? She gave him the look. <laughs> Because thereafter, he did it, right? He followed her instructions. You know, she, all she said to him was, they have no, no wine. wine. They have no wine. And the mother of Jesus knew that this was an opportunity for Jesus to show himself for the first time as the one, the son of the living God. And I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful story. But there's more to the wedding at Cana. Remember now, this is, again, the first of Jesus's miracles. Where does it occur? It occurs at a wedding. And it occurs at a wedding because God wants to have an intimate love with us as we do in the sacrament of marriage. God wants to have that intimate, I know everything about you, but I love you, that comes with marriage. I love you, no matter all of your faults, no matter all the things that drive you crazy, we love each other with a love of great intimacy and openness. It was not an accident that the first miracle was at a wedding. And for those who are married, it gives us something to really think about, doesn't it? Because what happens at this wedding in Cana? Jesus acts within the time of marriage to make it fuller. For those of us who are married, that is the great grace of the sacrament of marriage. That our marital relationship is fuller because of the love that is shown through Jesus Christ working 